I, it was exciting and an honor. I mean, yeah. we both grew up with with GI Joes. I mean, you were a crazy fan. Still am. Still am playing with Still toys. Still plays with toys. Lady J um, comes from a military background. You know, her father's father's father were all in the military, and uh, she that was her biggest dream, and her father pretty much told her that he didn't believe that women should be in the military, and instead of listening to him, she did the complete opposite and got into the Joes, which is the most elite team on the planet. Um, so she has a bit of a chip on her shoulder because she is a woman living in a man's world, and she's constantly trying to prove that she's supposed to be there. But uh, I think she holds her own among those guys. Uh, I play Flint. If you're familiar with G.I. Joe, he's one of the one of the main guys, and uh, we introduce him in this movie. So he's a, he's, a, he's a tad bit younger than the, the, the version we're used to seeing where he's in a leadership position. But it's great because we um, we introduce him and his relationships with the, the rest of the unit. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a hothead. He's really good at what he does, but he's, he doesn't play well with others. He's got a problem with authority. So... He knocks heads with a lot of the other unit, but a, a lot of things happen that make him, you know, slowly start to gel with everybody else. I thought I was in great shape <laughs> before I did this movie. Yeah. Uh, I thought I had stamina, but no. Um, I trained for about a month before I even got to New Orleans with my trainer, Alicia Strom. And then uh, once we got there, we did about a month and a half of nonstop training, about eight hours a day, which included mm. training with Navy SEALs, um, hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat training, stunt training, choreography, unit training, where we worked as a unit. Weapons training. Weapons training, and then actual physical training to stay strong. Yeah. Um, and each of us had our own specific um, thing that our characters were best at. So mine was weaponry, and his was parkour. Yeah, so we both, yeah, we both individually trained pretty hard at, at, uh, at those two things, yeah. John and Dwayne wanted to try and introduce something uh, something new. So they took hand-to-hand um, -to -hand combat, like close quarters combat, um, and, um, you know, just regular gunfighting, and they mixed it together into this, uh, this, this fighting style where you use the gun in your hand as an extension of a punch, and, you know, the bullet as an extension of a punch. So you're firing and punching and fighting in close combat at the exact same time. It's really cool. I think working with Dwayne was an awesome experience. You, like, you never know what's going to happen when you, you know, you're going to start working with a huge celebrity. And we would both heard what an amazingly nice guy he was from everybody we know. To the and point where I didn't believe any of it. So yeah. I was like, somebody's lying. You're like, this has to be BS. This guy's going to be, a, there's, something's wrong with this guy. But he bypassed all of that. He's honestly one of the nicest, funniest, most humble, you know, yeah. human beings. So working with him was an honor, but we still, we had a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. he's as nice as he is. He's still a, a jokester and a prankster. Completely. And, um, but he's damn good at his job. I mean, you look at a guy like that who's so successful and such a big star, and he has so much going, around, going on around him, and the fact that he's so good at his job and so good to everybody at the exact same time, it's impressive. Bruce plays Joe Colton the original G.I. Joe, and uh, I think when it comes to action movies, and you know, it, there's no, there's he no one the else. He's the original there's Joe. There's no one else. He's there's the no original one else to play action that part. hero. I mean, he's the best, you know? Um, that was crazy nerve-wracking before I met him, and then the minute I met him, it was just banter back and forth immediately. We had that yeah. kinship that was just, like plays in the movie. Um, right. <laughs> which was his idea yeah. and I'll never forget the first time he said it to me at dinner uh, we were having a dinner uh, just to get to know each other and I was like oh yeah you have to use that because I actually have a physical reaction every time you say that to me so <laughs> it worked well yes I was I was but I was also sweaty I was one of the sweaty guys too um, yeah. it, it's, a, it's funny how immediately they become your brothers. I mean, you're out in the middle of nowhere, hours a day. You hear things, you smell things. You know way too much. So, <laughs> we became close real fast. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> how did she do? Uh, she embarrassed all of us, you know? I, she was stronger, longer, tougher, and faster, and every, you know... And cried a lot less than the rest of us. Like, That's true. Yeah, she speaks for itself. I was excited by it because I actually really, I was, I was really happy that Lady J wears fatigues 
the entire movie and has, you know, her hair in a ponytail or she's wearing boy clothes. So by the time it got to the red dress, I was kind of excited to wear heels for once, you know? Um, but it, if anything, it was just fun to get to work with Jonathan Price. Like, I, I love that guy so much. He's one of the funniest people on the planet. And, you know, we had about a week of learning the choreography for that. So we had a blast. I stepped on his feet a lot. <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I mean, the world of G.I. Joe has such a giant, eclectic uh, cast fan of characters base, yeah. and fan base. It's worldwide. And we touch on so many aspects of it. You know, we've got um, a giant international cast, uh, really, really impressive and talented actors, and everyone's doing some, some insane action stuff on screen that, you know, hasn't really been done before. So I think you couldn't ask for anything else, no matter where you're from. Yeah, man, I've been yeah. setting up that battle since I was nine years old, you know? So now I can just kind of sit back and enjoy it. And that fight sequence in the movie is one of, I think, one of the best fight sequences. It's just the two of them. I mean, they're ninjas. Yeah. I think this is a the G.I. Joe movie made by fans, for fans. You know, whatever the tone of G.I. Joe, the tone of the characters, the feel of it. Mm -hmm. We really wanted to refocus and repurpose and, 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 and be as true to it as possible, you know, and with, and be fun, too, and have a lot and of fun And be fun, and that's the great thing about the movie is if you didn't see the first one, that's okay. The second one sets itself up. And also, if you're not a G.I. Joe fan, you're also going to love this movie. It's an awesome, action-packed movie, and it's for everybody.